Hi guys, how are you? So today I am going to be creating an Eid inspired makeup look for you guys. Of course, I can't start any look without a coffee to keep me going. <laughs> it's like a must. Um, I'm firstly going to tackle my eyebrows now. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's like the most difficult thing to do. Maybe it's because I've got thick eyebrows and I just kind of don't know what to do with it. I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I finally found the perfect like shade for my eyebrows. I'm just so happy with it It's the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills um, dip brow thingy imaging. I'll leave everything listed down below for you guys And then I'm gonna go and move on with my um, Concealer so I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows now. I can't go a day without doing this I kid you guys not because it just makes such a huge difference and on this specific day I kind of broke out everywhere which is not the best but you know it always seems to happen the day I want to film I just break out everywhere I don't know is it just me or um yeah I don't know I just got the best luck ever love that for me <laughs> and then I'm just gonna blend out everything using my Real Techniques brush now I don't know the specific name of this brush so I'll leave it all listed down below for you guys um, just brush is this what am I saying <laughs> this brush is just so good and precise to get right in there and I am also doing my eyelids too just to use that as kind of like a primer to prime my lids before I apply eyeshadow and this concealer is so high coverage it's literally incredible sometimes I just use it as kind of like a foundation and it does the job for me it's so so good now I'm gonna move on to foundation I'm using this NARS foundation it's so so high coverage and that's kind of what I want for an Eid inspired makeup look and yes if you're wondering I do always go for a shade darker than my skin tone I don't know it's just something I've done for years and I just feel like, like it makes me look way more healthier and um, I'm just really pale in general so yeah you're gonna need some color okay so yeah I'm just blending that all out and girls do not forget your forehead please like that's not cute and then I'm gonna go and apply a lip balm because foundation lips is um, yeah it's not for me so this is literally my favorite lip balm ever it's a comex a cherry flavor lip balm oh my god it's so good and hydrating then i'm going to use the face mist um i think this is what is it called yeah but it's by mac it's the Mat uh, mattifying one and then i'm going to go in and tackle the brows again this is just a clear gel this is because i'm just brushing them down basically because my eyebrows get all over the place so yeah one of those are definitely needed and then I'm going to be using this palette now I haven't used this palette in literally the longest time ever now this is Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette I feel like was this like one of the first palettes they got out I'm not exactly sure but I haven't used this palette in so long so okay you guys so to start off every look like every makeup look that I do I always seem to do this method is I'm just going to be blending a bit of um, some brown nude in my crease line now I do this all the time just it makes your eyes appear a lot larger and more prominent then I'm going to go in with this pale nude pink and I'm just basically enhancing that specific area so I'm just adding a bit of that and it's just such a cute little nude pink then I'm gonna go in with this really bright pink it's like a Barbie kind of pink and I'm just really enhancing that area and making it stand out a little bit better like how gorgeous is this um, color combo I'm just so obsessed and then I'm just gonna apply some um, concealer on my eyelids using the MAC concealer in NC 15 so with this look I was kind of going with a cut crease kind of look so that's kind of what I do I always use this because the concealer is so thick it just makes it stand out um, and it's just amazing before you put your eyeshadow on so yeah that's me looking at myself or whatever then I'm gonna go in with the MAC palette that I believe this is a neutrals again I haven't used this palette in so long oh my god I actually bought funny story <laughs> I bought this from like Newcastle um again like what years ago like I want to say four five years ago I don't know ages basically and it's still going strong that's all I have to say still going strong so I'm using this gorgeous kind of shimmery pink shade from the palette and then I'm gonna go in and apply the Mikiaji concealer now oh my god if you haven't tried this concealer you guys it's a must it's so good for like brightening underneath your eyes as you can see 
I do apply a good amount because hello it's Eid we're gonna go all in like come on it's a must so yeah I'm gonna apply a little bit of that gonna also do my cheeks so to find that because you girls got some chubby ass cheeks and we um, we don't appreciate it okay we do not appreciate it okay so moving on to my favorite bit ever um contour like I can't do a makeup look without contouring my face like I have been blessed with Chubby's cheeks, um, so you know, she needs contouring, that's for sure. So I'm using this Fenty Beauty um, contour stick, and this is in shade Mocha. Now this color literally suits everyone's skin tone, it's literally incredible. It's really easy to blend as well, as you guys can see, um, it's just so good, literally. Okay, so time to blend that all out. I am using this, oh my god, I am literally obsessed with this beauty blender, it's from Morphe. It's one of the best things I've ever bought. It's like a double sided. So like one side is like obviously to apply your foundation. And then the other side, which I'll show you guys in a minute. It's so good to like apply uh, like your powder. Like it gets right in there. So yeah, I'm using the OPV loose powder. So yeah, this is the, the second side, the other side. Oh my God, like to contour your nose. This is the best thing ever. It's such a bargain and I've like never looked back since using this beauty blender. It's so good. Okay, so fun fact, I never used to put powder like underneath my contour line. But since like watching like Kylie Jenner's like makeup tutorial looks, which she does on Instagram, I've been doing it and you know what? It makes such a huge difference. Like it's a no, like it's a game changer. You need to try it. Um, right, moving on to your eyes. Now, I absolutely love doing like a long, thick liner. You guys know this already. I'm using the Kat Von D um, liquid liner in black. And I'm just making the wing quite long because this is quite a dramatic look. Now, time to kind of blend everything out. Okay, can you guys see like the difference? because I'm shocked, it makes your cheeks look so much more kind of defined, a lot slimmer. I don't know, I love doing this like routine now when I do my makeup, it's just made such, yes, that's just me poking my eye. God, I'm always doing stuff. Um, yeah, this is me just spritzing on my face again because I like, obviously for Eid, I want my skin to look matte and especially if you're gonna be taking pictures, you know, it's a must. That's me curling my non-existent lashes. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna apply like a thin layer of mascara before I go in and apply some um, falsies. As you guys can see, I've applied my falsies, magic, here we are. And then I'm gonna go and apply some bronzer, this bronzer, um, what is it called? Oh yeah, it's called Laguna. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Again, it suits everyone's skin tone. It's like an olivey kind of undertone. It's so beautiful. So I do enjoy a good, a good layer of bronzer. Um, it, I don't know, I love doing this like, it just makes me look so much more alive, more put together, yes, love it. Then we're going to go on to my favourite, literally my favourite blusher ever, NARS Orgasm. Like, I've had this blush, I kid you guys not, for a good couple of years. Um, and you know what, she's still going strong, she's still going strong. Right, I'm going to move back on to um, the palette and I'm gonna go and apply the same shade that I did on my eyelids and I'm just gonna blend that underneath my eyes just to enhance that again and just give it more of a smoky look right moving on to my favorite my <laughs> my favorite highlighter ever I feel like I talk about this highlighter all the time but it's literally the best highlighter ever OPV in glamorous you guys have to try it if you haven't already right we are swiftly gonna move on Time for lips. I am just applying a lip liner from NYX and then I'm gonna go over that with this lipstick from MAC. Um, it's in shade Please Me. It's a really girly pinky nude because I felt like it was quite quite too pink, <laughs> too girly. I went in and applied this gorgeous shade from um, Huda Beauty. Now all the shades will be listed down below, but this is the final look, oh my God. That's me all ready. Now I'm gonna show you guys a really quick tutorial. I do this turban look all the time. It's very, very straightforward. You don't need no pins, nothing. You guys know me, um, I like a very straightforward look. I can't be asked with the whole complicated thing. Yes, it's easy but 
you know, your girl's just, yeah, she's just, she can't be asked. So yeah, I'm just tucking that in at the back. It's so straightforward, you guys, honestly, like really straightforward. And that is it. We are done. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It felt good like wearing makeup after so long. And not only that, going for like a bold pink eyeshadow look. Like I never do these looks. But you know what? It's really inspired me to kind of create more funky looks for you guys. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And I shall see you guys really soon in my next video. Love you.